quick announcement from me, Batista, before we kick off Raw number one, I am the Raw General Manager. And tonight in the show, I have a few surprises for you, so enjoy the show. And yeah, I am the General Manager. Let's welcome to Monday Night Raw. Well, after that announcement, that Batista is the Raw General Manager, we have Elias in action here up against Damien Priest. Damien Priest looking to uh, make a name for himself here on Monday Night Raw. Maybe tonight against Elias is going to be able to do so. The Archer of Infamy to make his way down to the ring. Let us get, let's get this one underway. Damien Priest walking to the ring here. Damien Priest not going into the ring. Elias, not sure he knew what was really going on there. Elias getting attacked by Damien Priest before the match can even get underway. Damien Priest into the steps. And Elias didn't say anything about Damien Priest. This is just Damien Priest doing what Damien Priest wants to do, I guess. This is a new side to Damien Priest we have not seen before. Damien now launches Elias into the ring and then the matchup can get underway. This is just a normal one on one match. Damien now is kicking Elias straight in the face. No, no respect shown. Now just a huge roundhouse kick. Kick to the back of Elias now. Now match up is underway as Damien Priest is some shadow box in there. Damien Priest now launches Elias back out the ring. I wonder why Damien Priest is doing this. Isn't Damien Priest just fed up of being overlooked here Raw? Guessing this is him saying, this is what I can do. Damien Priest now with Elias up on his shoulders. Elias has not been able to get into this match. I don't think Elias is even properly conscious right now. Especially after moves like that being delivered to you. You're not going to really be in the best state of mind. It's Elias driven into the barricade. Damien Priest back into the ring. Elias now off the ropes. Damien Priest looking for that back elbow, but Elias gets out of the way and Elias now. Let's get some moves in here. But again, Damien Priest with a huge roundhouse. And Damien drops the elbow. Priest now. That's what Damien Priest is going to be looking for here. I'm not too sure, but oh my. There's a huge right hand busting open Elias. And Priest with a roundhouse. And again, Priest with that right hand. And then Priest fired up here. Priest now is launching Elias across the ring. Elias is bleeding bad. That is a bad cut in the face of Elias. Damien Priest again. I don't think Elias is really conscious right now. I think Elias is just in this ring. Not really knowing where he is. As Damien Priest now just rains down a bunch of kicks. That runs him with a huge face wash. Damien Priest now. South of heaven. Into the pin four. One, two. My lice kicks out. My lice has still got something left here. Not sure exactly what it's what it is. I think that's just instinct alone. A lice kicked out. But Damien Priest with that reckoning. And that's it. One, two, three. And a new Damien Priest has just been unleashed on Monday Night Raw. Now Lice, I'm going to say, is impressively kicked out of this. South of Heaven after all the punishment it rece received. Kicks out here. We need to get EMCs to check that cut out on Elias. It looked like a pretty bad one after that huge right hand. He delivered like three or four times in that match. But you see the reckoning in there. They're just driving him head first into the mat. And then the one two, three and the Arch of Infamy press to a victory here on Monday Night Raw 
Asuka has that dominant display from Damien Priest over Elias. Lana took on Asuka on a competition. Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, picked up the victory and then reckoning. Face off against Breezango in a tag match and they picked up another victory here. And when they're well, let's get into our next match, which is Dominic Davakovic taking on the Miz for his debut on Monday Night Raw. Okay, well, here we go. We are in Los Angeles here tonight in the Miz making his way out here. Obviously resides here in Los Angeles, California. So the Miz is well at home, but he's getting booed because he is the Miz after all. But the Miz obviously will be thinking of Dominic Dijakovic in his first match on Monday Night Raw. And I guess that's what Batista was on about earlier on when he said he had a surprise for us here on Raw. I'm guessing that is, I'm guessing that is a surprise to I mean, Dijakovic. But well, let's get the Miz into the ring and get Dijakovic out here. And see the Miz awaiting Dominic Dijakovic. Someone who was very impressive down in NXT. And he's now making his main roster debut. Dijakovic looks like the real deal. Can he prove it here tonight? Dijakovic, the fans are behind him. But will Batista and the rest and the fans continue to be behind him after this match tonight up against the Miz? Let's get this match underway. Dijakovic ready, the Miz also ready here as the matchup gets underway. This runs in and that Dijakovic total war backbreaker. That's one way to start off a match. Dijakovic now off the ropes again. This time just launches the Miz across the ring. The Miz ain't a small guy, he's not a big guy. But Dijakovic is impressive for your strength to launch him across the ring. A choke slam backbreaker. Dajakovic clearly going to the back here in this match. Dajakovic now up over the top, back in, back elbow. Yeah, it's just impressive strength and like agility there from the big man. But the Miz fighting out an Adam is sweeping the leg and Adam is runs and dropped it to the side of the head. Now Miz has been in a rather unlucky streak here on Monday Night Raw and he defeat. Delivered there by the Miz, and as the stomps the chest. This is another boot. Now the Miz just standing over Dajakovic, but Dajakovic back up. The Miz doesn't realize the headbutt to the back of the neck. Dajakovic is not messing around here tonight. As I said, the Miz has been on a rather unlucky streak on Monday Night Raw, losing quite a few matches now. Not really fighting against former Dajakovic. That's a wicked and vicious discus laureate. And again, dropping the mids in the middle of the ring. Dajakovic now picking up the mids. Dajakovic should a, a super kick that is just impressive on the big man. And a miss. However, the miss close line. Takes on Dajakovic. Dajakovic getting back up and a drop kick to the leg. Smart about the Miz. Taking out the base of the larger man. That's some leads to the lower back. Which will do the damage in this match. And Miz now. What is the Miz thinking? Miz turning Dajakovic around and that Dajakovic turns it around on the Miz. Now the Miz will be looking to put away Dajakovic here, but I don't think he will be able to. Dajakovic just looks. Too impressive here tonight, even for the Miz. This first match, the Miz pushes Dajakovic away though. Maybe the experience that the Miz is coming into play now. This has been doing this for so long. And it's gone up, gone up against some of the greatest in WWE. Grind that pound there from the Miz. Now the Miz kicked to the leg. Now looking for that. Looking, just looking for the snap. DDT. The Miz now. Into the corner, the Miz gonna look for a lariat there, but Dodge Cover tried away now, and the Miz runs him up for a huge rocket kick right across the jaw. And Dodge Cover could be out cold here. The Miz drags Dodge Cover to the middle of the ring. The Miz now score crushing finale. And that's gonna be it. One, two, Dodge Cover the shoulder up. The Miz cannot believe it. 
Kraja and you're not worthy to them is here. He's just asking them to applaud him, but they're not. Dajkovic underneath it now. It looks for a chop up, but the Miz unaware there gets out of the way. Maybe Dodge, Dajkovic has actually just rocked after the huge uh, move. He just received a rocket kick in the corner. An electric chair face was there from the Miz. And Dajkovic into the corner. The Miz looking for something there, but Dajkovic gets out of the way. Now Dajkovic. Stops the jab and it's a huge headbutt here. Dajkovic. I mean, that, that was impressive. A court screw sent on from a standing position from the man the size of Dajkovic. Dajkovic now going to the outside to join them is. Dajkovic launches them is into the ring post. Now Dajkovic looking to. What's he looking for here? Looking for a power bomb, looking for a high angle, maybe a razor's edge here. But a miss it's that net breaker on the floor. A miss now. First touch go back into the ring. And a miss. Looking for a figure four here. A miss with the figure four. Is he going to get it locked in? Yes, he is. Now, this the majority of this move damages. The shins more than anything of Dajkovic. If he can reverse the pressure here, it will damage the shin of the Miz. That's where all the pressure goes. And the Miz feeling the pressure now as Dajkovic forces the Miz to let go of the hold, but the damage might have been done. But Dajkovic looks for the big boot, but the Miz somehow dodged that. Not too sure. Maybe after the figure four, Dajkovic can't really get the leg all the way up, but some of the Miz there. Dajkovic. Hangle back. Oh, Dajkovic's now going to the top. Dajkovic just too slow. And Adam has too much time to get back into this. I mean, so it's quite a far jump. I think if, like, the Miz is waiting for Dajkovic to get up here. Dajkovic is not getting up. And Adam is rolled as he is. Goes back to the top. Miz now is looking in. Looks for a chop across the face, but Dajkovic caught him with a huge backbreaker. Dajkovic now, what's he thinking? Dajkovic now, with, oh my god, busting open the miss. And Dajkovic, what is this? It's plants him. Middle of the ring, Dajkovic, dizzy. That's a poor performance, that move with Dajkovic now going back to the top. Miz is bleeding here, he might have broken his nose. Dajkovic with a corkscrew, moon salt. Now Dajkovic, are you ready to feast your eyes? This smash is over. Dajkovic letting go of the pin for it. What in the world is Dajkovic thinking? Is he looking for a statement victory over the Miz? Dajkovic now. Hoist at the Miz again. Second time. The Miz's nose looks bad. One, two, three. Dajkovic picks up the victory and I might have broken the nose of the Miz. The Miz will not be too happy if that is the case. So Miz is a Hollywood superstar. A, a, you know what I mean? From his own words, that's what he is. That's what the most believes he is, and if he's got a broken nose, he can't be in the public eye as much as he would want to. As the his appearance is something he really cares about, but feast your eyes, two in a row there, Dajkovic. Maybe, I think he picked him up because he realised it was going to be rope break if he went for the pin four, and delivered a second one just to make sure of the victory. But we have just feasted our eyes, and what an impressive debut from Dajkovic. And I'm looking forward to what this one can do here on the red brand. After that impressive performance on Dajkovic, we continue our show with Bobby Lashley making his way out here. The almighty one. He's taking on Drew Gulak. Again, now obviously Bobby Lashley has been dominating Monday nights ever since his appearance here on the red brand ever since he was drafted. But one man who's not sat well with that is Drew Gulak. A man who believes he deserves an opportunity. But he's just been able, he's just been coming up short to the almighty one. 
and tonight he's asked for another match against Lashley and Lashley more than willing to accept obviously if he can if he can beat Drew Gulak like, twice before he can beat him again let's get Lashley in the ring and get this match underway and see if Lashley's going to continue his dominance on a red brand wait wait that's Drew Gulak's here Drew Gulak a chop block from behind Gulak now boots to the face maybe a new tactic here from Drew Gulak attacking Lashley before the match even really begins here and that is stretching the arm of the almighty Lashley again I think this is just going to piss Lashley off though if anything all Drew Gulak is doing right now is annoying the almighty one more now face wash there with the boot Drew Gulak now looking for a submission hold here is he going to get it Yes, he is just stretching the arms out. But too strong there is Lashley for the move to actually be locked in properly for it to be an end in Drew Gulak now looking for another submission. This is impressive strength here to be able to hoist up Lashley. But not sure if he's going to have the strength to hold it in long enough. Yeah, there, there we go. Lashley fighting out of it. Now, Lashley. Oh, Gulak, I think got a block up, but there's a back elbow by Lashley. Lashley, I think he's just dazed here. Now an arm breaker. And Gulak is masking in the booze of the crowd here tonight. Gulak now, what's he thinking this time? Gulak with a torture rack. But Gulak let go. Interesting decision there from Gulak to let it go. I think he realized he doesn't have the strength to hold it in that position there. My Gulak, what's he thinking now? Going after the arm now, just wearing down Lashley with submissions. And now the leg. Lashley. Lashley's got to be, even though Lashley is the bigger guy, he's got to be feeling a pain here. And now there's some boots from the ground up to Gulak. Now Gulak, just forearm by Lashley now. Now Lashley's in control of this one. Like I say, this is where the match really begins. Like I mentioned. Oh, I'm not sure how wise that was, Gulak. And now Rashid just raining down the punches. And now elbow to the back of the neck. Should have a knee smash. Now these two are both skilled in ring technicians. I was going to go like he's actually very underrated in this business of what he can do. But going about what going away is going about his business is always not the way to show what he can do. Not only annoying one of the most dominant superstars on the red brand, but turning the crowd against you by doing that. The crowd like Lashley. They're impressed by what this man can do in the ring, and they want to see him succeed here on the red brand. But Gulak is a knee up. Gulak now just with the chops right to the chest. And Gulak with one fun note. There we go, there's the jab. And Gulak. Caught up again by Lashley. Now Lashley going after the, the abdomen of Gulak here. Now Gulak. Lashley runs in. Lashley's not fighting with any, I guess, any prowess right now. He's just looking to hurt the man he's attacked him from behind before the match could even begin. Now Lashley looking for another power slam. Lashley now in the corner waiting for Gulak to get up here and Gulak is not getting up but Lashley now I think is looking to make Gulak get up Lashley looking for the spear now Lashley I think Lashley is looking to end this one Lashley with the this, this impressive feat of strength again here we saw this last week and now sit out power bomb by Lashley and I'll yeah good luck this is what you get this is what you get for sneak attacking Lashley from behind before that match begins another spear crash at me one more time and Lashley what a willing to oblige here Lashley for a third time Now Lashley 
He's going to look for the hurt lock. Yes, he is. Locks in the hurt lock. And there we go. Good at no choice. But to fade. And Lashley teaches Gulak a, les a lesson and continues his dominance on the red brand for the second Gulak attacked him from behind it he was smart going after the leg low and locking on a lot of submissions but actually was too strong too powerful for Gulak to succeed in that way and then just the hurt lock in there and then just ragdolling him and no choice but for Gulak to fade in the end and the almighty one continues his dominance. Let's get into our next match. Well here comes the modern day Maharaja. Someone who he's asked for an opportunity tonight to really show what he can do. He had a match not long ago up against uh, Thomas Tommaso Ciampa very impressed but in recent weeks he's not really recaptured that impressive performance. Let's see who's going to be taking on tonight in this match. And oh my Modern day, the modern day Maharaja is in for a nightmare. As the devil's favorite demon, Kane, is her the red brand. Is this a surprise? Is he cement or is it Dajakovic? But well, Kane is making his debut on the red brand. And Kane looks back to his best day. Back to the uh, attire that he wore during the Attitude Era where he dominated the red brand. I want to do that tonight. Up against uh, the modern day Maharaja or Jinder Mahal picking up for us the victory in this match. It's Kane steps into the ring here. And even, even though Amanda says to Jinder Mahal, so to be thinking I'm in from a, a long night here up against Kane. Especially Kane making his debut back on Raw. Let's get this match underway. This is Kane means business. Here we go, Mahal versus Kane. And just look at the size. Jinder Mahal is not a small guy, but Kane is towers over him. And Jinder Mahal just firing himself up, but Kane. Kane is ready. Now Kane is unloading with strikes upon the body and face of Jinder Mahal, but that strike, usually that strike takes down, takes down his opponents. But, and the same there for Jinder. That strike usually takes down. There we go, there's a boot by Kane. Kane now looking for a huge strike right across the face of the modern day Maharaja. What is Kane thinking here? Kane, this other body slam, maybe no. Jinder Mahal slips out from behind. He's asking Kane to bow down to him. And Jinder Mahal there before Kane could finish the throat slit. That, was, that must have been horrifying if you're Jinder Mahal. Jinder now off the ropes. Back elbow dodged by Kane there and now Kane with another big boot. And now Kane leg drop. Okay now what's he thinking next? Okay now looking for a bat breaker that he was looking for earlier, I gotta imagine. Okay now with a DDT now Jinder Hall punches to the body of Kane. Now a big boot dodged by Kane though. Jinder back elbow. Kane. German suplex to Jinder Mahal. And Jinder landed high on the back of his neck there. Jinder clearly feeling the effects of that one. Have we ever seen Kane use a German suplex before? In a match? I can't quite remember ever seeing Kane pull off a German suplex. But Kane now going to the top. I think we all know what Kane's looking for here. Shaking his head. Tell him Jinder Mahal to get up. Jinder is not not getting up here. Now he is. Here we go. Now Kane looks for the clothesline, but Jinder. Jinder would have seen that move before my Kane so many times. But Kane looks for a big boot. Jinder dodged. Now Kane runs away with a big boot. What a big clothesline, sorry. Now there's that huge shot pick up again. Jinder does not go down. DDT by Kane. And another leg drop from the big red machine. And now dropping, just raining down a bunch of stomps. Jinder now into the corner. And now Kane with right hands. 
right to the face of Jinder. Like Jinder is busted open. Kane landing a big boot here. Gets it. And again, another leg drop. Kane now. It's Kane thinking. Kane. DDT. You know, Kane and the only ticket like to use DDTs in the time made on WWE. Very effective manoeuvre. If done correctly, now Kane, electric cheer drop. Kane thinking about going to the top again. Chandler got the counter once. That was an impressive leap from Kane there. Kane now is flying in with a clothesline. If I'm beginning to see the beginning of the end here, Kane launches Mahal. And now Kane catches Mahal mid air. That was him. Pressed it by Kane Chokeslam. One, two, three, and Kane picks a victory on his return to Monday Night Raw. With a mid-air chokeslam to launch him at the side of Jinder Mahal in the in the hair in the air, sorry, and then catch him, deliver a chokeslam to him after that is impressive. Kane clearly back to his best. And the roster one in that Raw, that landscape of WWE has just changed. With Kane returning. Let's continue with the show. And what after the return of Kane, we now have Chris Jericho making his return here to WWE. Now Jericho, last time I saw him was taking on AJ Styles for the WWE title but obviously lost in that match at Backlash. I have seen Jericho since that match but Jericho is back here on Monday Night Raw and apparently he is signed to. Let's see what Jericho is coming out here to do. Come back to the ring and Jericho has been laid out. The, ca um, the camera's cut, I'm not sure what happened but Jericho has been laid out. Let's get EMTs out here to help Jericho and get the show back on track. And well, after an attack of Jericho, I'm not too sure where it really was. Clearly, Jericho was attacked by someone, but we didn't see. The cameras went all static from what you guys saw, and the lights went out in the arena. So, whoever attacked Jericho was smart about what they were doing. But MVP is out here, the leader of the hurt business, with, MV with uh, Cedric Alexander and Sean Benjamin, was sort of former member of the hurt business earlier tonight, Bobby Lashley. But we're still not sure if Lashley is part of the team. But let's get out MVP's opponent and see who's going to be taking on here in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Now MVP asked for this match so we can get back in ring shape. So we can start competing more often and well. We mentioned and it was pay-per-view that he will be back on Monday Night Raw. And here he is. Drew and McIntyre. A man... He went one in the bank, took on AJ Styles for the WWE title. Obviously lost in that ladder match with crowned AJ Styles the WWE champion. And AJ has held it ever since. But, but McIntyre was injured during that match. And he is back and looks like he means business. McIntyre will need to climb back up the ranks here. If he wants to get another shot at AJ Styles. He's going to take on MVP here tonight. Let's get this match underway. Uh, did you think you'd ever see this? MVP versus McIntyre in the main event and winning that Raw. But Batista, here to give him MVP. This opportunity, MVP, they smart. Pulled up short, not allowing McIntyre to get what he wanted, but McIntyre just with chops now. And McIntyre, MVP backing up. MVP is an experience here. Now just totting McIntyre, just boots him in the face. McIntyre well, is not going to be looking to play games here tonight. MVP it's launched across the ring. Can I imagine MVP wants to get back in ring shape so we can be in matches with the rest of the Hurt Business, not just on the ring side or backstage watching them. Yeah, McIntyre. We've seen McIntyre go for a future shot DDT in that position before, but this time just looks for body summer now. A huge knee right across the face of MVP. Gotta say, for MVP's first match in a while, 
getting Drew McIntyre is not a look at a draw. It's not someone you want to face in your first match. Especially a pissed off Drew McIntyre. Someone coming back, a Drew McIntyre coming back from an injury that's kept him out of action for a while. And McIntyre now continuing a beatdown of a German suplex. Now again, so that usually went on MVP this time. Sweeps the leg and McIntyre clearly doing damage there as my, as MVP keep, uh, keeps looking to hold his face there. Now MVP with a German suplex to McIntyre, that is impressive. But MVP. MVP now. He saw McIntyre was getting up and baited the McIntyre in there, that was smart. He thought about running after McIntyre and realised, you know, I'm just going to turn around and wait for McIntyre to come after me. And that has worked partly because now McIntyre's going to run it with a huge splash in the corner. Now McIntyre is looking to showcase his power over another slam to MVP. And now for ground up pound again, Team Montauk and Tavius Porter. McIntyre now looking for a suplex and McIntyre is fired up here he feels the crowd here in LA we're sold out here in the arena and they're all behind Drew McIntyre here who made his return being out for a month could I imagine McIntyre he's got to be so pumped up here tonight to feel that energy again to be back in ring shape it does look good here, it looks like it's not Mr. Beat. Uh, McIntyre, this time, looking for the, sp uh, uh, the slam there. But MVP slips out from behind, and MVP now with a knee drop to McIntyre. And MVP with a level one this time to the other side of the face. And MVP now, oh, MVP after the two knee drops, thinks it's time. Looking for the ball in elbow drop to McIntyre and we know what follows that MVP now punch right to the face and now let's follow it a huge boot right across the face is that enough to put away McIntyre here one two McIntyre kicks out at two and a half that boot across the face would be enough to put away most superstars that looks brutal from MVP but not true McIntyre returns run and fires his two forearms. Correct, trying to fight forever. I'm not sure MVP wants to fight forever with McIntyre. I think my MVP would have been happier. The match was over there. I don't think he wants this match to continue much longer. McIntyre now. Off the ropes goes MVP. MVP again, no dodges. Goes after the throat now. Now, McIntyre. What's McIntyre thinking? Find his current position, hoists him up, and drops him face first on the ground. And the mat, sorry. McIntyre. McIntyre looking to go big on his return. We are in LA after all. A place where you need to go all out as McIntyre dies over the top. And the crowd behind McIntyre. McIntyre looks ready to take on AJ Styles again. I'm not sure if Batista will want McIntyre back in the main event picture that quickly. I think I'd rather have McIntyre build up his momentum and then go back into the main event picture as a knee glancing across the face of MVP there. MVP gets back up though. Gotta give credit to MVP though. A man who's not been in in ring competition for a while is looking all right here as he lays in some close lines here. And the third one, the fourth one, sorry, takes down McIntyre now, gets the ground a pound here. Here McIntyre is missing a bit because usually McIntyre would probably have this match put away by now. McIntyre hit with a knee drop there, and MVP just fired up here. MVP is torn towards the crowd there. MVP short on clothesline takes down McIntyre. I'm not sure this is why is here. MVP flies in over the forearm. MVP now maybe thought about going to the top to change his mind and now McIntyre with the back elbow. And what's going on here? What is going on? Uh, 
That's probably Lashley. That's probably Lashley's music. But Lashley's not out here. Oh, MVP. MVP now. Punch right across the face. MVP, look, gets the boot. Is that going to be enough to put away McIntyre? For a second time here tonight. One, two. But McIntyre gets out. Somehow. MVP looks annoyed. Was that Lashley behind that? That's Lashley's music. And Titan Tron, but was Lashley the one actually jawbreaker behind behind it? Or was it Shot and Benjamin or Cedric Alexander? And McIntyre just looks pissed off here. Looks pissed off that someone interrupted his flow. And McIntyre has clear more countdown time. One, two, Free Claymore and then the one, two, three, and McIntyre's victorious here in a main event in Monday Night Raw. But we need answers for more than one thing here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Who took out Chris Jericho earlier tonight? Just before this as well. Who took out uh, Chris Jericho? Who was behind that distraction? Can I imagine it's Shot and Benjamin or Cedric Alexander? Because last year has not publicly announced his with. The Hurt Business, but even if it if it isn't with the Hurt Business, then using his Titan Tron and music to distract McIntyre won't sit well with him because that will put McIntyre in the crosshairs of Lashley. You've got to say, Oh, Lashley in the crosshairs of McIntyre, meant to say there. Oh, Lashley, uh, Lashley's uh, distraction there. I'm going to say Lashley for now because it was his music and Titan Tron didn't cost McIntyre the victory. And McIntyre wins at the main event, and McIntyre looks ready and back to his best. We'll see you guys on SmackDown.